Hey buddy, it's John with Plant Tech, and today we are going to be going into uh, oh, part two of our 3D top-down little video game. So, some uh, some FYIs, collision detection is a bit annoying, as in I will have an object collide with another object and it will either collect it or destroy it or open a door and I get an error. So I've hopped onto the forum and I'm like, okay guys, here's the file, see what you can do. Is it just me or is it a bug in the actual system? So to get around that, what I have done is I have, uh, like for example, this door right here actually has a um, line of sight. So I set the line of sight to be uh, basically a 360 circle around this door. If it either touches the door, because it's a solid so you can't pass through it, or gets near it, it's going to disappear. Um, trying to work around that to where it will just move. So it's a standard like 2D top-down shooter, but I'm working on that right now. So basically what I have done, and actually this uh, video will have the file down below so you guys can play around with it, is that these are just textured uh 3d objects so these are all like 3d walls and everything i could probably just use a q3d sprite which is also a 2d object but at that point if any of you know 3d stuff is that it's a plane so it's it's similar to just doing a uh so Technically, a 2D game just uses a bunch of planes and they're all stacked on top of each other. And layers and 3D planes are kind of the same, but not really. They can um, actually be, you know, moved in different ways and everything. But I got some 3D objects here. So these are all 3D objects. So in case I want to change the point of view, you could actually see depth and everything. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually retexture all of these walls so that it, it will actually look like a top-down wall and then I'm gonna put in some 3D objects such as chair cylinders and all that type of stuff. Um, what I may end up be doing is that the 3D object uh, is, uh, the player is actually a 3D cube or, you know, or whatever. So what I may be end up doing it is just uh, replacing it with 3D animated sprites. So it's, he's 2D, but he's acting inside of a top-down uh, 3D actual world. And then we have a door, and then I'm actually working on a small little environment for him to work on. Um, still getting my hang of this whole entire environment type setup, but let's get through the coding. So uh, this actual player, this has physics and eight direction. This door has solid line of sight and custom movement. This wall is just a solid object and that's about all. So this is the camera tracking stuff that's very important. Again, that will be down below. We have the controlling stuff and then we get on to the stuff that I've added. So, um, was part of movement etc I need to actually clear up some of this stuff but um I was having trouble to where the guy when I moved him he would actually start falling so what I did was on key release physics is in mobile and mobile but I've also added another one to where on start he also doesn't move Yeah, that's somewhere around here. Um, on start of layout, that's going to be setting all the diffuse maps. A start of layout, set objects, physics, there we go, immovable. Again, if I remove this, I'm going to do that real quick, and then I'm going to play it. You're going to see the guy start sliding. So if I remove that, if I replace that or put that back, and start it up, he stays, and then every time we move, we're done, or like that. And then the actual door is right over here. I always imagine it going up and down, and then he needs to move over here.
and then I'm gonna get it to where, um, like in the sprite, like I, I wanted to change it to a, a 2D sprite so it could actually uh, rotate to the mouse. Um, still having some issues on that on the actual 3D guy. Again, I'm using the 3D walls as you can see right now because as you move around, you can see the sides of the walls. Now I'm going to be retexturing these walls so they'll actually have a side texture and then a top texture so it'll look more realistic. Or I'm thinking of more of a, a mystery, top down mystery game to where you click on stuff and he interacts with it. Like a sci fi. I, I don't want to say aliens, but in that type of mystery tour, where something's gone wrong and you have to find out what it is. Um, and maybe when you click on something, he'll rotate to that. And if you click on what we call or what we tag as a enemy, he'll rotate to it and shoot at it. So again, it's very non really action esque, but more of a mystery based game. Um, but it's dealing in 3D. So I don't want to super push this engine to where it might not be able to handle it. And then you guys start complaining, saying, hey, you promised a full 3D environment. Yeah, this is a full 3D environment it's dealing with a 2D game engine. Also, if you move this over to Congregate or a Flash based uh, browser and it's rendering all of this, it may be slow. So again, you guys have to work with stuff that you're going to have to work up to basically build your dream and then go up from there saying okay this is the bare minimum you know the textures may be 128 by 128 or 512 by 512 or whatever you may not be able to build high polygon environments and then on the door on starter layout Q3D has line of sight cone of 360 that means it's going to be able to see all around the door it has line of sight to uh, change uh, line of sight to main object, change collider type to none so the character could walk right through, and so set ma a material opacity to 100 so transparent on, so the door just basically disappears as though it were going up or down. Else change collider type to box with uh, some material opacity to uh, zero and transparency off. So at this point it sees it, oh you're really really close, I'm going to disappear. You're going to be able to pass through the, uh, basically you are still passing through the door, even though it looks like it's vanished. And then it's going to reappear when you're out of sight. So it's a, a basically a fake door. Um, again, I'm going to work on the, this entire mystery room area, put in a couple more 3D objects from some asset packs that I have, and then start refining this and working, uh, to show you guys a more little in-depth top-down shooter add in some enemies uh, guys comment down below if you want a full 3d animated player I mean he is a 3d model I may have to use a little poly one or would you like to see a 2d sprite animated top-down or would you like to see an option for both or an option screen to where you can say I want to uh, where you can modify graphics so 2d environment with 3d player or 3d player or a 2d player or how, whatever type of options uh put those type of options that you would like to see down below i'm going to put them in um and then after we finish with this test room so after we get the player up we got the doors working hopefully the guys on the construct 2 forum will be able to finish the uh sprite tutorial we are going to start working on more of a more finished refined game so an outdoor out, the outdoor environment vehicles um, i would like to put some sort of like two person multiplayer i'm going to be doing that with a space game that i'm actually currently almost ready to record to so uh a lot to do on this again small project but with a lot of stuff in the project uh yeah again comment down below guys like subscribe if you want to and i'll see you guys in the next video it should be up in the next three days so see you then bye